We start with the biggest and brightest, the sun. It's the star of the show in more ways than one. It's a yellow dwarf nearly 5 billion years old. 74% hydrogen, or so we're told. Mercury is the first of the planets there are. It's rocky and hot, not the hottest by far. And the smallest of them about the size of our moon. A mission's on its way there, we'll find out more soon. The second is Venus, volcanic and hot. Acidic clouds hold in heat quite a lot. Not nets on its surface, no air CO2. I sure wouldn't visit there if I were you. Our Earth is a third planet from our sun. Ability to support life, the only one. 78% nitrogen in the air that we breathe. We live on a quarter of the Earth, would you believe? Mars that's red from iron oxide is for the next smallest planet named from God of War. CO2 is the atmosphere covering the globe. There are some unmanned missions that went there to probe. The largest Jupiter is the next one we'll pass. It's made up of hydrogen and helium gas. The surface is turbulent with a violent red storm. And its gravity made the asteroid belt form. The six planet Saturn with rock and ice rings. A gas giant like Jupiter with a core of something. Hydrogen and helium's its composition. And 82 moon circle Saturn's position. The seventh is Uranus, the third biggest one. It's a soft light blue since it can't get much sun. Made of icy materials, rotates on its side. To get there it's 9.5 years for the ride. The last of the planets is Neptune will view. A gaseous size giant like Uranus too. Got 14 moons, 5 rings and highly wind blown. Beyond that not much else about it is known. Pluto is called a dwarf planet as of late. Its orbit is different from the other eight. It's smaller than our moon, it's cold and it's dark. Uh, planning a visit, bring an extra parka 